gonna need some. Welcome back to Tech Yes City. This is Brian coming to you guys today with an open CL versus CUDA rendering in the Premiere Pro. Now moving on straight into the benchmarks, we see that all these graphics cards in the final render times pretty much scored in the same league. And if we turned off OpenCL or CUDA support, our render times then went up to like literally like six hours. It was, you don't want to do that to yourself. And when we get into the price performance aspect, we could see that one card really stood out in my opinion. And this was the 7870 from Sapphire. This card was an absolute beast. Man, was it performing absolutely fine in that 4K editing workspace. And also when it came to the final render, I still had room to do other things like watch YouTube videos or talk on Skype. And when we contrasted that to its competitor, the 660 Ti, that thing was actually struggling a little bit in the workspace. And also on the final render, I found that I just had no headroom at all to do other multitasking. And then any other two cards above these cards were just simply overkill for Premiere Pro. I found the 980 Ti was scoring a not so important victory over the R9 390 by like a bee's dick. And then the GTX 780 wasn't as pumped up as it was to be with the official support from Adobe. Now I'm sure there's people out there wondering what about After Effects and other programs and also Cineform, a very popular codec in Hollywood. Uh, my answer to that is I just simply don't use that at the moment. I don't have time to include transcoding into my workflow, especially since some of my projects I can have up to like 150 gigabytes of footage and that's only going to wear down my SSDs even further. And then lastly, I will say there's a lot of other good resources out there for Premiere Pro, except Adobe's website themselves. Although with all that done, I'm now going to get back to doing the things that I love and that's building, benchmarking and tuning gaming PCs for you guys. So stay tuned for that. And if you like this video, then please give it a big thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments about this video, then be sure to drop a comment in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Peace out for now. Bye. Get out of here, you filthy 660 Ti. Do you have a 7870, bro?